Good Saturday morning, everybody. One second here. There we go. That's better. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, currently keeping you updated on what's going on with the weather in our video weather blog called Weather Overtime. This is available throughout the weekend here at WRAG.com or on these other social media pages that you see back up into the main screen up to your upper right hand area. That's to my left and what it looks like here. Still trying to get used to this new format. Information about what's going on with the weather right now. Temperatures out across the Mid-South. High temperatures for today and low temperatures and conditions for tonight as we go into the forecast page. Always available for you there and weather information on my social media pages available at the social media screens up on there at the top portion of the screen right above where my head is. Kennebunkport, Maine, beautiful sunshine, a lot of snow on the beach from early this morning as we see again what's left of winter storm rolling through the area heading on up to the north end of the east. The first fort site at Fort Smith, Arkansas. This is where I used to work at, just a few blocks away from KFSM TV. And you can see some of the remains of the last fort area that was constructed way back into the early portions of the 19th century, right on the grounds of the Arkansas and the confluence of the Poto River, seen just beyond the tree line back that direction. Great place to visit. If you'd like to know more about the National Park Systems camera, go to nps.gov or follow the hashtag FinderPark on Twitter. Jonesboro, Arkansas, sound concept incorporated webcam from the weather underground system plenty of sunshine looking south of the interstate and mainly clear skies out there Rhodes College in Memphis things are decently quiet for this morning and temperatures remain back into the mid to upper 30s with mainly blue skies out across the area there Mineral Wells Mississippi just south of the Tennessee state line Tim B's webcam on the weather underground system showing plenty of sunshine for this morning and not much in the way of major haze, fog, rain, anything like that. Next few hours, temperatures again rising into the mid-40s with plenty of sunshine. Westerly winds will be a little bit on the breezy side once again throughout the course of the rest of the day. So we will be continuing to see those breezy conditions out there, but not enough for a wind advisory in the Mid-South area. Again, winds will continue throughout the rest of the day at about maybe 10 miles per hour, 10 to 15, somewhere in that area. Temperatures back in the lower 40s and outside of a few clouds from time to time. It looks like most of the area should be getting a lot of sunshine, so that should help to kind of bump the temperatures up by just a bit. Sunrise in the Mid-South today was at 7.02. Earlier tomorrow at 7.01. Sunset tonight at 5.25, 5.26. As we go into tomorrow, the length of daylight starts to stretch out as we head toward the spring equinox, which will be in about 50 days or so. No precipitation yesterday. We're still ahead for the month and the year by about 8 tenths of an inch, so doing pretty good on rainfall. Temperatures yesterday very close to where we should be, about as typically normal as you can get for this time of the year. 50 and 30 are high and low temperature respectively. 51 and 33 respectively are normals. Record high, 77 set back in 1975. Won't be coming anywhere close to that. Likewise, won't be coming anywhere close to to our record low temperature of negative one set back in 1940. Rest of the forecast again throughout the rest of the day today. If you're planning on doing anything outdoors, it is going to be a bit on the brisk side out there across much of the Mid-South. So if you have any plans to be working or exercising or traveling around and about the Mid-South, you're going to be having to deal with some of these temperatures out there combined with those winds of about maybe five to ten miles per hour. So that could be something to think about. We're also going to see again a little bit more in the way of cloud cover up into around portions of northeast Arkansas and eventually northwest Tennessee into the rest of the day today. Some of that's going to be passing on through northeast Arkansas across the Mississippi River and from southeast Missouri through western Kentucky into the area north of Dyersburg. Not totally overcast, but again, some clouds possible out there. Most of the day should be sunny. High temperatures today in the upper 40s to lower 50s. Again, temperatures should be a little higher today thanks to all that sunshine across the mid south. Cooling off past sunset tonight, mid-evening temperatures, lower 40s, and heading just after News Channel 3 at 10 into around daybreak tomorrow morning, back in the lower 30s. Now looking back toward the north and east of the Mid-South into around middle areas of Tennessee, that around the Tennessee River Valley, that's back where we start to see again the potential of some scattered areas of snow showers taking place in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. That's where we'll see again uh, the potential for anything involving 
expecting snow showers mainly along and east of that line. Through the rest of the morning, some of that could wander into the Tennessee River, but most of that activity should be staying well back to our east and should be remaining that direction throughout the rest of the day and also moving its way back toward the east as well. So whatever we get in the way of snow showers out there, they're going to be leaving the area and heading away from us. But from the area in and around Dyersburg down to around Corinth, that's where we could see again the potential of maybe some snow showers into here. Now, maybe and possibly, but just only, we might see some of those snow flurries possible into around the Tennessee River Valley, north central Mississippi, and portions of the area close to around uh, northeast Mississippi, north central Mississippi, but I doubt we're going to see too much of anything in the way of snow flurries to the west of the Mississippi River tomorrow, and that will last into Sunday night. So if you're heading toward Nashville, that's where you're going to be running into most of that activity into around portions of the area there. Today, plenty of sunshine, breezy, more clouds into around evening around New Channel 3 at 10 later on tonight. For Sunday, temperature a little bit cooler. All that cloud cover out there will block out a lot more of the sunshine, so we'll see cooler numbers out there and a slight chance of some flurries. Mid-50s for Monday, and then next chance of rainfall starts to head our direction as we get into and around Groundhog Day but only a slight chance of rain. That will last into early February, and we should see again the possibility of some dry, ironically, some dry conditions for the true American holiday, National Weather Person's Day. So if you'd like to celebrate with us, that'll be next Sunday, February 5th. Good opportunity to see more there. And some spotty showers in and around the early portions of the first portion of February, but beyond that, really just not that much to be expected. Temperatures in Iraq. For those of you who are have friends or loved ones serving in the United States military, back in the mid to upper 30s around Mosul, 60s around Basra, 50s with cloudy skies across the country in Baghdad and Najaf. Numbers toward the Persian Gulf back in the upper 60s to mid 70s, 75 degrees just past sunset in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, 70s over toward the Persian Gulf. Into Afghanistan, temperatures back into the 30s around Kabul, 40s in Herat and Faizabad with a little bit of rain coming down in the northeastern part of the country and 57 degrees in Kandahar. Heading toward the Korean Peninsula, temperatures back in the 30s, mostly cloudy skies, no precipitation detected for everybody out there from the DMZ southward. If you'd like to know more about severe weather, how to get ready for it, what to look for, how to read radar, what to do in advance of these storms coming, where to shelter in place when severe weather threatens. These are the classes for you. They'll be taught by the National Weather Service, and you can find out more by going to the National Weather Service homepage. Go to, to, go to uh, weather.gov.gov, click on the Mid-South, and then click on the Skywarn tab at the, at the top of the screen that will take you directly to the information here. What you're seeing here on this page just represents the first five meetings for the Mid-South coming up within the course of of the next several weeks. This starts in late February. And if you'd like to know more about this, it'll be about maybe two dozen meetings coming up. So this is your opportunity to get ready for severe weather. These meetings last about an hour. They're totally free, paid for by your tax dollars. So a good opportunity to learn more about what's going on in the Mid-South, how to get ready. You may have just moved here and have not experienced severe weather before. These are great chances for you to ask questions and to know what to expect. They give kids an opportunity to kind of get some control over an uncontrollable situation, so good opportunity to see a lot more there. Don't forget to tweet any weather pictures to me for the weekend. Send them along to Aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter, also on Facebook, also on Instagram, also on Periscope, many others out there as well, so don't forget about that. And whatever platform you've got, download our weather app. It's available right now. Go to your particular app store and search WREG weather and plenty of information there. That'll wrap it up for this edition of Dews Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime for early Saturday. Thanks for joining me and stay tuned for more questions, concerns, comments. Email me at austin.onic at wreg.com and we'll be glad to answer whatever we can on that. Stay tuned for my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on News Channel 3 on air and online.